Welcome back to our final And we're live. Welcome back to our final episode of Main Karaoke Idol. We'd like to thank everyone that's been involved so far. The bars, Eric's Church in Wyndham, Maine. Champions in Biddeford, Maine. Everyone behind the scenes. Uh, me, obviously. Um, yeah. And most importantly, the contestants. We're down to four tonight. We're down to four, and we're going to narrow it down to one. We're going to have a winner tonight, hopefully. Unless everyone just walks out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we'd also like to thank our judges. They've been with us the last couple weeks. You guys are seasoned vets now. You know when to clap. We got my guy, Melvin Gratis. Local musician, producer, this guy does it all. I think he plays every instrument. Uh, he set us up tonight with sound. So this should be the night that it sounds the best. Thanks to Melvin. And uh, whoever wins tonight is going to record a song with Melvin, and it's going to go number one on the Billboard 100. No, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, Melvin? We'll see. We'll see. Clap it up. Clap it up. Our next judge, number two, Karen Bryan. Clap. I'll give you a quick rundown. Started her career as a model, founder of Port City Models and Talent Agency. Books models, actors, TV film personalities, and musicians for music videos, TV commercials, films in Maine, New York City, and throughout the country. Karen was voted one of Portland's most influential women so you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> Bringing fashion, film, projects to Maine and giving Maine talent more opportunities for projects in New York City and other parts of the country. One of the most exciting projects on which she has worked is booking her actors for the filming of Taylor Swift's music video for her song, Mine. And then, working with MTV to produce live MTV premiere from Kennebunkport, Maine, where the music video was filmed. Karen has been an on-air TV judge for first round competitions for TV's Top Model, American Idol, and many additional model slash talent competitions. So everyone that is performing tonight, you better be sucking up to Karen. Let's give it up for Karen. And last but certainly not least, <laughs> dressed to impress tonight, ex rocker, hardcore. He was a savage back in the day, to put it bluntly. <laughs> but now he's somewhat of a crooner and he's softened up. But I'm hoping tonight he might get a little uh, critical on uh, these singers. We'll see what happens. Kelly Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, the reason that we're here, I guess we should start the singing. Our first contestant tonight is Heather. She's going to come up and she's singing crazy. Uh, nope. She's singing fancy. Breva McIntyre. Give it up. Jake, just to let you know, people are having trouble with the link. We'll figure it out, babe. Well, I remember it all very well. Looking back, it was a 
summer I turned 18. We lived in a one room, run down shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent, to say the least, we were hard pressed. And mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. Well, mama washed and combed and curled my hair, and then she painted my eyes and lips. And then I stepped into a satin dancing dress that had a slit in the side, clean up to my head. It was red with velvet trimming, and it fit me good. And standing back from the looking glass, there stood a woman where a half grown kid had stood. She said, Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. She said, Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Mama dabbed a little bit of perfume on my neck, then she kissed my cheek. And then I saw the tears welling up in her troubled eyes as she started to speak. She looked at a pitiful shack and then she looked at me and took a ragged breath. She said, your paws run off and I'm real sick and the baby's gonna starve to death. She handed me a hard shade to lock it that said that thine own self be true. And I shivered as I watched a roach crawl across the toe of my high heel shoe. It sounded like somebody else that was talking, asking my boy. Just be nice to the gentleman, Fancy. They'll be nice to you. She said, Here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. She said, Here's your one chance, Fancy. Don't let me down. Lord, forgive me for what I do. But if you're all out, well, it's up to you. Now don't let me down, hon. Your mama's gonna move you uptown. When I left that rickety shack The welfare people came and took the baby Mama died and I ain't been back But the wheels of fate had started to turn And for me there was no way out It wasn't very long till I knew exactly What my mama had been talking about I knew what I had to do when I made myself this solemn vow That I was gonna be a lady someday Though I didn't know where or how But I couldn't see spending the rest of my life with my head hung down in shame. You know I might have been born just playing white trash, but Fancy wasn't my name. She said, here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. She said, here's your one chance, Fancy, don't let me down. One long after a benevolent man took me in off the streets. One week later, I was pouring his tea in a five-room hotel suite. Yes, you are. I charmed a king, a congressman, and an occasional aristocrat. And then I got me a Georgia mansion in an elegant New York townhouse flat. I ain't doing that. because it makes my son smile. And hi, Samson. This audience um, is feeling it tonight. Shout out to just everyone in the Champs fam, especially uh, my friends Ricky, Squirrel, Kai. Um, I'm really singing for you guys tonight. Rachel, wish you could be here. Um, so yeah, it's been just a blast singing with all of these guys. And it's been fun. Thank you for having me. All right. Let's, uh, I mean, the crowd loved it, obviously. Let's see what the judges had to say. Melvin. 
It's always a joy to hear you sing. I always, it's been great having you in this competition because just to hear the different songs you choose, because it's one of the things I've learned is for a fact you're a very dynamic singer, you're really good at controlling your timbre for being sweet and soft and then introducing power. So I'm happy, good job. And I thought you did a fantastic job tonight. You looked so much more relaxed than last week. Really put a lot of emotion and energy. Love the outfit. Thank you. And you just looked like you had a much more confident stage presence tonight. So great job. And I've loved working with you too. Full of passion, full of excitement. You were the song. And you wore it, wore it well. You presented it well. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Heather. Go ahead. All right, well, we're going to move right along. We got Brittany. Come on down, Brittany. She's doing Adele. But I couldn't stay away 
Let's hear it for Brittany. Hey, I can feel it. I felt it. I, I can it. feel it from the last two weeks. Let's see what the judges say. I think that was a great song choice yeah, from all the songs you've, you've done so far. When I think of Adele, I think of a very powerhouse singer. So I feel like you're trying to show more side of yourself on that, which is great. I'm glad you did. Um, it's the, one of the stronger performances and more uh, stronger vocals you performed. Just here and there, some pitch issues, but overall I'm proud of, uh, for you choosing that song. Thank you. I also loved your performance, Brittany. I, I love your energy. It's so kind of sweet and joyful. And you really did challenge yourself with that song. Adele is not easy to sing, but you also showed the range you're capable of. And that's very brave. And like I always say, never stop singing and you'll do great. Thank you. Great song choice, very well displayed. Uh, a little more diaphragm because you've got great notes and you've got this cauldron of energy inside you. You put that together. But still, well done. Thank well done. You. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Brittany. All right, next up, we're going to keep going. We're just going to fire them out here. Thank you, audience. Can I get a round of applause for me? I just need one more. All right, next up, we got Mike. Mike, come on down. Let's get it. Girl, you're gonna don't tell me how to then a hoochie coochie got me like the first time I heard Alan Jackson's Chattahoochie. Never the same again. I'm a lifelong fan. Yes, I am. Baby, I love you like I love country music. I can never live without you All my favorite songs about you Top to bottom, perfect you like Brooks and Dunn's debut album You got me feeling like I'm a brand new man Oh, I'm a brand new man Yes, I am Baby, I love you like I love country music You give me highs, really, girl You give me gone as charms You turn me on as much as I turn on my radio Take a time, walk the line, kinda like Johnny and June did. Yeah, let's do this. Baby, I love you like I love country music. Hit him with it. Woo! Play that fiddle song. I was stranded on an island Only way I could survive Is if I had you and that Needle dropping on the vinyl You give me highs with you, girl You give me gone as Jones You turn me on as much as I turn on my radio Let's take our time, walk the line Kind of like Johnny and June did Yeah, let's do this Baby, I love you like I love country music That's right. Yeah. 
Baby, I love you like I love country music. Hit him again. He don't dare to come out now. <laughs> there he is. Are there any more vocals? <laughs> well, let's make everyone watch us. <laughs> All right. Give it up Thank for Mike. Sip of the cap, ladies and gentlemen. Judges, let's go. Great, great song. And I loved how you worked it, even with the instruments. And, and you, the crowd is engaged, I want to feel. So it was a great job overall. You got the timbre for, for a country. I could, like, close my eyes, and I hear the hat. I don't even have to see it. So good job overall. Thank you. Obviously, you took over the stage, the room. Um, and excellent style. Your, your style always matches your song, which is what I'm supposed to be noticing primarily. But no, you, you do a great job, very authentic. You all have your authentic style, but very powerful. You have a very powerful voice and great job. And thank wonderful working with you. Even the way he says thank you. Yes. Thank you. Kind of gives me yes, a little exactly. <laughs> yeah, Texas and Portland, you were the real deal. Yes. Great baritone voice, very much in control. Right. Good for thank you. you. Thank you again. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I think our stream is having some technical difficulties, so we should be back by 9.30. Jamie, what, are you streaming right now? I apologize. I, I did it. Do you want me to continue? Uh, so I'm, I'm live streaming. If okay, well, well I, I guess we're, some people are live streaming. We're not uh, picking and choosing, but we'll figure it out very shortly. And we have our last singer, for the final four, Carissa, if you want to come down, Let's give it up. <laughs> Pull them away, girl. Yeah. 
Great performance. I, I just, great pick uh, with the song as well because you killed the vocal techniques. I love the, the runs you did. I don't really have much bad things to say, so great job on that. I thought you, uh, yeah. Yeah. I thought you did a great job too. Um, and and love, it was very different from last week's, showed your range and love the style. I noticed the purple eyeshadow that matches the top. You no, know, you look fantastic. <laughs> And I really love, like I said, how you all have completely different styles, but you're all supportive of one another. I really like that. And no matter who wins this contest, keep competing, all of yeah. you, all of you. Yeah. 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 Keep, keep going, keep going. Yes, and Mr. support, Lord. Oh. support, 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 support. Yeah. That's what yeah. makes yeah. it fair. Yeah. 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 Powerful, rich, great deep voice, great diaphragm, and I love the, the uh, descending tremolo that you're so comfortable with. Very, very nice. Thank you, judges. Thank you, judges. All right, we're gonna go now to uh, some of the interviews from earlier with the, the contestants. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm singing from Champion Sports Bar in Biddeford, Maine. I'm Champs Pam. Um, I have had a blast on this journey. I did not expect to be here. Um, pretty much sing because it makes my son smile. And hi, Samson. Um, shout out to just everyone in the Champs Fam, especially uh, my friends Ricky, Squirrel, Kai. Um, I'm really singing for you guys tonight. Rachel, wish you could be here. Um, so yeah, it's been just a blast singing with all of these guys, and it's been fun. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Brittany Hoglund. I'm from Wyndham, Maine, and the journey for me and Idol has been so exciting. Um, what led me to it was I was doing karaoke bars, and one thing led to another, and now I'm in the finale, and I'm just beyond grateful. and. Um, yeah, so if I do win Main Idol, I want to be an inspiration for people that um, have self-doubt in themselves. And, you know, I just want them to push themselves because anything is possible. And like the saying goes, if you don't shoot, you'll miss. And um, I want to thank my family and my friends. Uh, they've been a huge support for me. I love you guys. And I also want to thank um, Portland Media for doing this because without them, I wouldn't be here. And I also want to thank the judges. They have been absolutely amazing. Um, I love that they're giving me advice to be a better singer. And I'm just so thankful for the journey. And I'm just glad that I'm here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike DeRoches. Still singing out of Champs in Biddeford, Maine. And uh, uh, it's been a pretty good journey. I got to sing and meet a bunch of, you know, great, amazing people. And I've really enjoyed myself here along the way. And, uh, you know, if, if I do win this, it would be like a dream come true to me. Um, someday I will get my break. I hope it's this time. 
If it's not this time, it'll be the next time. But in the words of Jelly Roll, I will make it on the other side of them tracks on my mother's life. Hi, it's Carissa. I, I'm from Gray, and um, I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout all of this, and I hope you vote for me. <laughs> and we're back, live. <laughs> We know the studio audience loved the first half of the show where the singers picked their songs that they wanted to sing. The second half of the show, the judges chose the songs for the singers. Can you say curveball? Yeah. I think we can. So let's not waste any time here. Let's get this thing going. Our first contestant, Heather, the judges chose Crazy Patsy Cline. Here we go, Heather. Come on, girl. They chose it for a reason. Yes, thank you, Lawrence. The judges had the right idea of picking that song. Let's see what they have to say. You haven't sang that song before? Okay, well, beautiful. Very well done. Yeah, your timbre was perfect. It's like I closed my eyes and heard a record got put on. So, great job. And I thought the same thing. 
perfect. I mean, no, it was a perfect choice for your voice. And that's what the judges tried to do, really tried to pick songs that each of you, we, we listened to what we thought your vocal range was and tried to choose something that you would be perfect for. And that was, that was. The anniversary of my late father's passing is coming up and he's the reason I love pasties. Oh, mm. wow. Very, very well done indeed, Patsy Cline. Willie Dick, Willie Nelson wrote that, yeah. so I didn't. I just found that out. But uh, yeah, you you own that song, yes. and you, to yes. learn it to learn yes. it that fast right. from not knowing is spectacular. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Thank you Heather. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Brittany, and the judges chose "Wind Beneath My Wings."
That's Brittany, ladies and gentlemen. Judges. All right, good job, Brittany. And I, I want to ask, um, is that song you sang before, or is that song you like? This is my first time singing it. <laughs> okay, well, great, great job on tackling it. Uh, there's moments that, uh, of course, your voice, I think it's a really sweet voice and timbre. There's moments it's, it's like honey. Um, and, and it's just a, the reason I ask that is because, yeah, there is some moments where I can tell finding the note here and there, but I'm overall, you should be proud of yourself. Yes. 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 And, it, and I think it's always difficult to learn a song so quickly if, that you've never sung and challenge yourself. That's what takes the guts and <laughs> makes you a better singer. Yes. And I uh, just think um, you did it with a lot of emotion and heart, and I really enjoyed it. So, great job. Thank you. It's a, uh, quite a complicated song to learn quickly yes. and to do it with such uh, sincerity and such dry. That was uh, really quite nice. Quite nice. All right. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Brittany. Next up, we have Big Mike, the cowboy. Yeah. Little Chris Stapleton for you. Yeah. 
to the judges all right big mike great job um with the song i i, I was very curious with that song because it, it's like a country's blues song so it has that low guttural you hit the pain i felt sad of course and and i was really interested on how you would handle the the higher range and you, you tackled it well you even entered some falsetto range there i heard so good job thank you excellent job i agree I felt like it was in Nashville at the Bluebird. It was just great. Thank you. <laughs> I've yet to go to Nashville. I will someday. Yeah. <laughs> Country all the way. It was like drinking without drinking. You, you convinced me. <laughs> Thank you, John. All right. Thank you, Mike. Last song of the night, Carissa, come on down. We're doing Sia. Judges picked it.
That was awesome. That was great. You have my full props and respect because that's oh. that's a wild song from going from that low end and then boom, that power when you're on the chandelier. So and you hit it. You make it. Yes. So good job for that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You learned it so quickly. You learned it quickly. And it's very difficult. It's a perfect song. It was Sia's last hit just before she decided to get sober. Mm -hmm. She hung from the chandelier Imagine one that. last time. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Kind of like Larry. <laughs> yeah. Strong, powerful, strength from the basement, great diaphragm, yeah. great pain, yeah. great presentation. And remember, you all have completely different styles, and it's very difficult, very difficult for us to even begin to nice choose. To watch, though. We don't know yeah. what we're going to do. Nice. We, we loved them all. It's difficult. All right. Well, on that note, the yeah. judges are going to go convene. Yeah. Talk to the judges that be, the powers that be, I should say. Thank you, Carissa. Give a round of applause. We got a special guest coming up on stage, Scott McNeil, a comedian. You can find him on YouTube if you search Scott Comedy. Comedian. Scott Comedian. On YouTube. Thank you. Jake, give it up for Jake. So, uh, my employer asked me if I'd be interested in a 401k, and I said, you, you are crazy. I said, there ain't no way you're going to get me to run any 249 miles. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Today, a homeless guy said, hey, how about some spare change? And I said, no, thank you. I have plenty. People holding back their laughter. Thank you, sir. Thank you. One person. So uh, I tried calling the suicide hotline, but they only had suggestions on how to stay alive. So uh, if you're struggling with illiteracy or you know someone who is, we're here. We care. We want to help. Please. Please give us a call at 1 800 Chrysanthemum. Yeah, I can't spell it either. So I've been, uh, I've been trying to sleep with an all woman orchestra, but so far I can't even get to second base. <laughs> Great, thank you. So uh, I missed going to Woodstock. Thought it was just an ad for a new lumber yard. <laughs> None of my relatives will talk with me just because I posed nude once for a photo. To this day, they claim that I ruined our family. Portrait. <laughs> so I've been, uh, been doing some volunteer work. Uh, I've been trying to help create a facility where therapists can go to help tre treat people who struggle with procrastination, but unfortunately, so far with our budget, we've only been able to afford to build a, a waiting room. Yeah. Great, nothing like falling flat on my face on TV, okay? Uh, ironically, I was thrown out of an IHOP restaurant for using a pogo stick. So I'm sure you'd like to hear some highlights of the ones I told earlier, but uh, people on TV didn't get to see them. So uh, thinking about moving to Utah, converting to polygamy, 
and then opening up a mom, 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 mom and pop store. <laughs> First time I experienced deja vu was the second time. Yeah. Ready already? Okay. So why don't I, uh, I'll wait till I get the signal anyway. So uh, a very, very poor depth perception. So I'm not sure if I've actually been to Europe or I could just see really far away. But I'm gonna close my set because I think we've arrived at a decision. Please, I'm gonna ask the audience a question. Please tell me in your honest and humble opinion on a scale of nine and a half to 10, how was I? Give it up. Give it up for Scott McNeil. All right, listen. We're a little uh, crunch for time, so I'm just going to quickly, after telling the online vote, the judges, everyone involved, we have a winner tonight. The winner is Carissa Laracy. Come on down. Quickly, we got 30 seconds. How's it feel? Um, good. <laughs> Is it unexpected for you? you kinda. Um, How come? Everyone was really good. <laughs> Let's give her another round of applause. Let's give the judges a round of applause. Let's give all the contestants a round of applause. Let's give me a round of applause. And we'll see you season two.